Good day everyone, I'm Romeo S. E. Mendoza from Sochon State University, taking up Doctor in Public Administration. I am about to present to you my research study entitled Motivating Factors of SSU BT FSM Students Amidst COVID-19 Pandemic. As one of the faculty in Sochon State University, this study focused on BT FSM students of Sochon State University, knowing why they are remained motivated to learn despite all the limitations they encountered and endured during COVID-19 pandemic. This study examines how the BTFSM students have faced difficulties and yet, despite of this, they are still trying their best to stay focused and motivated on achieving their personal goals during the time of pandemic. The occurrence of COVID-19 pandemic brought unprecedented disruption in the lives of all people all over the world. It has changed everyday life, imposing exceptional sanitary, political, economic, social, and educational challenges. It came unexpectedly when where no one was ready enough to brace its impact to society. CHED Memorandum Order No. 4, Series of 2020, Guidelines in the Implementation of Flexible Learning, states that the paradigm shift Therefore, in the teaching and learning process in the Philippines, higher education necessitates collaboration among stakeholders and strengthening the culture of sharing knowledge, resources, and best practices. It may have led students to experience considerable challenges in maintaining their academic motivation. However, to the best of our knowledge, although some evidence exists, for instance, on students' learning habits during COVID-19, there is no empirical evidence specifically on how the COVID-19 pandemic and the restrictive measures adopted by the national governments to contain the new coronavirus spread impacted students' academic motivation and learning across countries. These emerging challenges have never been apparent during this critical period of time. Online learning also heavily relies on the student's ability to make meaning through assuming agency in learning. Initiating and sustaining meaningful multimodal communication and developing conceptual and epistemic understanding through active engagement with digital resources. Although a substantial number of studies have encompassed these relevant issues in the field of educational technology, research evidence on how to appropriately adapt pertinent learning and motivational theories to design effective and sustainable online pedagogy in the complex, multifacets, and even situational online learning environments are still relatively under-investigated. On the other hand, online learning was also described bringing disadvantage. The students claim that online learning has caused them some health problems like fatigue, headache, or fever because they had too many assignments to do in shorter time. His students also faced hardship in financial because they had to buy big credits for online load allocation. However, these advantages and disadvantages which determine the student's success in learning were closely related to students' motivation in online learning during pandemic. Interestingly, both advantages and disadvantages were influenced by students' motivation. The motivation regarding online learning during the coronavirus outbreak was reported contributing to inconsistent effects in higher education. The online learning has caused lack of motivation for some students to learn whereas others were highly motivated. Having interestingly facts regarding inconsistency, effects of motivation in online learning during the COVID-19 pandemic are in higher education context. This study intended to know the motivation of students in Sorsong State University, in this case, BTFSM students of technology departments towards their online learning. This study provides an important contribution to the study of students' academic motivation during pandemic. This work explores and explains learner motivation in online learning environments. More specifically, it uses a case study approach to examine undergraduate students' motivation within online learning context. This is a critical and urgent gap that cannot be ignored given the growing need for online learning in light of the pandemic. In addition, how the students' motivation can be built, leveraged upon a sustained, prolonged, collaborative online learning making is also an essential dimension that needs attention. For the objective of this study, this will determine the motivating factors in online learning of students in the technology department during COVID-19 pandemic. Specifically, it aims to, number one, identify specific factors that influence the student's motivation in learning amidst pandemic. Determine the perceptions regarding the reasons that affect such motivation orientation of the learners. 
Identify suggestions to improve such motivation orientation in online teaching learning context. The methods. This study adopts a case study using qualitative approach. The case study intends to investigate phenomena in real-life setting. The complex phenomena are about the motivation of BTFSM students of technology department at Sorsogon State University, Sorsogon City Campus, towards their online learning during this pandemic. Ten of the BTFSM students serve as participants of this study, aged between 22 to 23 years old. They are the source of its primary data. Semi-structured questionnaire was conducted. The survey also contained a subjective opinion segment after each question statement. The interview guidelines also include questions to unravel the participants' perception regarding the reasons that affect such motivation orientation of the learners and their suggestions to improve such motivation orientation in online teaching learning context. The participants were identified through purposive sampling. Qualitative data collection using an open-ended question survey and interviews. This study used thematic analysis in analyzing the data that were gathered. The procedures were adopted from Matthew and Ross 2010 in four pieces, segmentizing primary subjects, categorizing them, relinking, and presenting as final data. Data from the interview revealed both internal and external motivation, and those were further categorized into three, such as personal, social, and environmental. The motivating factors such its internal motivation, under which is personal. Majority of the participants said that they are greatly influenced by intrinsic motivation in their online learning, specifically that of personal factors. It was compelled by, number one, determination to learn new knowledge. Number two, enjoyment in experiencing new learning methods. Moreover, 8 of 10 participants stated that for them, online learning is important to keep their knowledge updated. Only two participants indicated that they are not affected their internal motivation in online learning. Second, the participants said that joining the online learning somehow gave them enjoyment on different technological activities which made use of various learning platforms and modalities. Under social, two participants stated that their motivation was greatly influenced by their economic situation of their families. Another one is the external motivation, under which is environment. Four participants agreed that their motivation in distance learning during COVID-19 pandemic was influenced by the environmental condition, namely, proper supporting facilities and family encouragement and inspiration. Firstly, the participants said that no matter how poor the internet connectivity is in their area and the presence of some domestic obstacles, still they managed to attend their synchronous classes. Secondly, three of the participants claimed that their present situation reinforced them significantly in the process of online learning. These were in the forms of parents' and siblings' encouragement, which serves as their inspirations also. Availability of scholarship grants and aids, and availability of additional learning digital facilities. Another one is unmotivated. Remarkably, three participants from the in-depth interviews indicated that they are actually unmotivated. They sat either in internal or external. They predict that the frustration in the technological factors like the usual electricity problem, erratic internet signals, intermittent weather conditions really gives impact to their belief and ability to understand and deliver learning materials. However, this condition was pointed out as a motivation due to their lack of contribution in their online learning. Despite all the limitations of online learning, the university students studied remained motivated to study from home. Results shows that the motivation of the students can be classified into three major categories, each with further associated with subcategories. These are A. Internal motivation, personal and social, B. External motivation, environmental, and C. Unmotivated. On the basis of the researchers' interpretation, the researchers made summative findings based on the evidence of the data analysis. Data was systematically explored. 
Finally, the demotivated students felt lack intention to their online learning due to their external factors. In line with Leper et al. 2005, the condition of coexist in this case happened because of the poor condition of student external factors impacts to their belief and self-determination level. They felt incompetence and had low value in their online learnings. This is due to the very poor internet connectivity in some areas, habitual and scheduled power interruptions, and intermittent weather conditions. All other factors means that the students are often at risk of significant learning loss. However, the explorations of students' experience conducted by the researchers showed that the students remained positive and kept moving forward on their learning despite all the limitations they faced. The students were still eagerly attending the online courses, working on assignments, and maintaining their grades despite all the barriers and challenges they faced. And recognizing this, the researchers continued the study and aimed to explore what kept the students motivated to learn amid all the difficulties and constraints of learning remotely online. The research discussed in this paper is particularly in the subsequent issue of looking at all the experiences of university students in studying during the pandemic, discovering that they remained motivated, which led to further explorations into the source of motivations. By understanding their motivation, we can learn what could be done to help students succeed despite all the limitations and help prepare them to be motivated during this time of difficulties. Further, majority of the 10 participants gave comments on how to improve motivation among learners during this pandemic. Based on the interview conducted, they were able to identify suggestions to improve such motivation orientation in online teaching learning context. Series of participant suggestions were unraveled to improve the online learning and enhance the learner's engagement and motivation in the online class. The suggestions also entailed aspects which can help to bring about improvements in the aforementioned criteria of teaching, learning, context, and technology-oriented factors which determines the learner's motivation orientation in online modules. Here, it can be observed that the suggestions primarily aim at the lowering drawbacks as technology, context and teaching learning oriented factors of online learning and modules, which acts as casual factors for reduced learners' motivation in the online classes. It also indirectly aimed at providing a more conducive learning atmosphere, which can increase teaching and learning efficiency in order to increase the proportion of learners' expectancy and instrumentality by providing a more encouraging and participatory atmosphere, inducing more interactive and skills-integrated language activities. Furthermore, incorporating the suggestion can also help nurture a positive attitude of the learners towards online learning in terms of teaching, learning, instructional materials, assessments, and the likes. For the conclusion, in the top times of COVID-19 crisis, students still have a positive attitude towards learning. The innate factors that led to this attitude included being challenged, their enthusiasm and self-determination, the satisfaction of attaining and accomplishing their personal goals, and their religious devotion. They were also inspired by their families and friends. The economic situation of their families played a significant role in their motivation process. The environment also inspired them. The atmosphere and the technological facilities at home helped them remain focused on learning. Their determination made them resilient, a source to overcome and thrive adversity during the pandemic. They used what they had experienced to enable them to cope with the situation and make progress in their studies. The COVID-19 situation was their first experience of school closure for more than a year now and led to the students studying remotely and adapting to challenges and many new experiences. They were not prepared, but many of them were able to make many adjustments and keep progressing. They will undoubtedly be able to manage these events better, should they do happen again in the future, if they are prepared. Education should prepare students not only for the workforce but also to empower them to be resilient in life's trial. Furthermore, this study proposed a motivational concept as a suggested solution to the difficulties faced by the students. Students face a variety of serious challenges and problems during the COVID-19 pandemic, but still, they remained motivated just to pursue their studies and realize their dreams.
This research study would recommend for further research may investigate in the phenomenon using different techniques and institutions, and up-to-date research on the effect of the COVID-19 pandemic on the learning lives of universities and motivating frameworks also need to be developed as a response to this cause and in negative consequences in the field of higher education institutions. Therefore, in the future studies, it would be important to consider the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic more precisely on the creative thinking of this university's students. The reference. Thank you.